Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome to my fully finished setup where I'm going to be showing you absolutely everything from the studio setup, which is where I record everything, to my travel and vlog and laptop stuff as well. The reason why I wanted to make this is because one, uh, recently I've been having PC troubles, um, things have been breaking, so I've gone through a bunch of upgrades, which explains why there hasn't been as many gameplay videos. In the past week I haven't been able to do anything at all, it's all been real life stuff. I have explained it in a couple of videos, but it's, it's all been because it's I'm undergoing upgrades and things are broken. Everything's sorted now, I'm just waiting on one final little part, which I'll explain in a bit, um, but that's coming tomorrow, so... Yeah, I'm excited to, to get back to everything and stream it, finally. The other reason I wanted to do this was because when I first started YouTube, I would spend hours and hours and hours looking at people's setups. I, I used to look at so many setup videos and so many different things, trying to figure out how I want to do YouTube and what equipment I should get and all of this sort of stuff. So I also want to make this to help people decide on things maybe that they, they're not too sure on. Um, and also, it's it's just a huge achievement for me, you know? I remember when I just started YouTube, I just worked from a laptop, I used the, the built-in uh, webcam, and I had a little blue snowball microphone, and that's how I used to make my videos. Whereas now, it's I've now managed to work everything out. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone, because this... It just made me realise, like, shit, this, would, this is not possible without you guys, and... Just thank you so much for making all of this happen. So it really does show progress, and... It's all, it's all down to you guys leaving likes and comments and everything, so thank you so much for leaving the video's uh, likes if you do that. So here we go guys, here it is. My fully complete setup. So here it is, this is where everything happens. Um, now you're probably wondering, where is this? It's, it's currently, this room right now is currently a storeroom. However, it's very, very messy, apart from this little area here, and that's because Literally this entire room is in the process of being like ditched, so all the storage stuff is going out and all of this is going to be converted into a full on like nice studio workplace. And I'm still contemplating whether to get a window put in over there, but it's, it's all going to be very very studio like. So just ignore everything else in this room. However, I'm going to now talk you through everything. So I'm going to start off with the DX Racer chair. That's pretty, it's a pretty new addition to the setup. It's very, very good. I used to get loads of back problems um, and slouching. I used to just, I didn't used to sit right on my chairs uh, before, but simply because you just, you just don't think about it when you're playing a game for ages. You're really concentrated. You don't really realize how you're sitting. Whereas the DX Racers are very, very good at supporting your back and your neck. So I've had no problem since I've had that. I've got these softbox lights here. I only use one of them because they're very, very bright. Behind the chair, we've got a full wall of acoustic foam. This basically just, as soon as I come around here, you may notice it already, like, it just really helps the sound uh, quality. And it looks really cool as a, as a background as well. So if we sort of move around now into the where I sit this is what my setup kind of looks like so we've got a c920 webcam which is what I use for all of my webcam on my gaming stuff um, I will be using this camera more often when I do sort of more like talky style videos or other videos that are way more intense on the real life so I can just have a much higher quality whereas that uh, is great if I'm streaming or if I'm you know having a, a long gameplay Video. This is a new mouse mat that I just ordered off Amazon recently. It's really, really cool. It's got a nice big wolf on it. I've got the Razer Death Adder mouse and the Razer Black Widow Ultimate. The headphones that I use are Bose QC25s. The reason why I love these is because they're just amazing for traveling. Um, if you go on trains or if you go on absolutely airplanes or any any form of travel, you put these on, you put the, the noise cancelling switch on right there and honestly the difference is insane. I cannot recommend these headphones enough. I've had them for about a year and nearly a year and a half now. And honestly, I, I would not want to use any other any other headphones. They're simply, they're just really, really good. This is a 144 hertz monitor. And I've got two 60 hertz either side. They're all Asus or Asus, however you guys want to pronounce that. I've got a little docking port for my iPhone. And then moving on to my microphone. My microphone has been part of the problem recently. My Yeti which is right here. Uh, this is broken. This is completely, completely done. 
So I have replaced it with this Shure SM7B. I'm really excited to use this microphone. I've heard great things about it. Um, and it's a condensing microphone as well. So the one thing I am waiting for, which I said tomorrow morning, is a an XLR to USB. It's 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 one made by Shure themselves, so it delivers everything you need it to for in order for it to work correctly. And that comes as of tomorrow. This I ordered this new microphone arm by Rhodes. The one that I was using before was a sort of quite a cheapy sort of it only cost me about 10 pound off amazon this one it was good it was good it did the job however it's just it could not support certain types of microphone weights and it was really really frustrating and lastly before i go into my computer i have my speakers which i think i have said before in previous setups these speakers are insane for the price these cost 50 pounds or about 80 dollars 75 dollars they're very very good for the price uh they're made by trust and honestly i could not recommend them enough i've had them for three years now now finally on to my computer itself i've tried to really improve my cable management recently um <laughs> but yeah, here we go. So as you can see, there is there are still some cables around. Obviously, this is the Ethernet that comes out. So some of the cables do sort of go out of control. However, most of them are OK. Um, so you don't actually see them unless you're down here. But it's hard to not mess that up. OK, it's hard. I just put that sticker on like five minutes ago because I thought it looked awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the backing and quickly explain my specs. So again, as I said, I'm gonna list all of the specs of both my PC and my laptop in the description. However, if you wanted to take a look um, at my actual computer right here, then here you go. So I will very, very quickly go through it. We've got an RM750 Corsair Power PSU supply unit. We have a 250 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte SSD. Uh, this has just been upgraded. My hard drive broke last week, so this is the reason this is brand new. We have an alpha cool system here, which very, very nicely water cools my GTX 1080 Seahawk EK X edition um, by MSI. And then we've got Corsair's uh, custom sort of, I think it's an H60 liquid cooling. This came with the computer when I got it, but all of my other specs will be in the description. That is the water cooling kit that I used right there for the, for the GPU. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you through all of this stuff here. All of this stuff is basically my either on the go or travel equipment, and also all my camera equipment. I will switch over cameras quickly to explain that part in a little bit. However, firstly, we'll just talk over the laptop that I've got and some cool accessories and stuff which make everything so much better. So I actually only got this laptop this past week, but so far it's been very, very, very good. I'm very, very happy with it. It is a Dell XPS 15. This actually has the footprint of a 14 inch laptop. So here's the 15 inch MacBook right next to the Dell XPS 15. The laptop size is a bit smaller. It's the same size screen, except you can't actually see it because it's not on right now. But the bezel starts about here, whereas this one is very, very minuscule compared. So obviously, it's, this is going to have a bigger area to get that 15-inch screen in, whereas this has got the footprint of a 14-inch uh, laptop. Now, I am actually waiting on some skins, some custom skins from dbrand. Uh, dbrand's an awesome website where you can get like totally custom laptop skins, phone skins for, you know, for MacBooks. The Dell XPS series got their own range, which is pretty cool. Now the specs of this, I'll leave all of that in the description. I basically wanted to make it as powerful as possible um, and as portable as possible. And it looks, to make it look as good as possible. I want to make sure that I can edit, uh, it's suitable for editing any game stuff that I take away with me. Um, and for vlogs and things like that and so far it's it's really really good the specs are all in the description speaking of editing um, and crossover with my actual sort of studio PC this is a lifesaver this is awesome this is two terabytes it's big enough to fit uh, my main OS operating system C drive SSD on my PC it's got a backup of that it's also got a backup of this guy 
So this guy's got 500 gigabytes uh, of SSD. And the C drive on my main PC is 250 gigabytes. So I'm not even using half of it. And I've got a backup of both my two main sort of PC laptop sources, which is awesome. And it's really useful for transferring editing files from the laptop to the PC. Miley! I've got a really nice sleeve, which is perfectly built for the XPS 15, because other 15 laptops, as I just explained, are a bit bigger. But that is an absolute perfect fit. Uh, this is like the laptop charger and then this right here this this is awesome okay this is what's called the dell power companion right and what it is it's an 18,000 mah like portable charger basically and you charge it through the laptop charger and you can actually charge both this and your laptop at the same time so the laptop by itself i think has like 10 hours plus um of battery but this, however, if you charge this up, it will give it an additional eight hours. So literally, you just plug plug this into the power port, then you just press the on button down here, like that, and it just shows you how much battery in this is left. And then you can also charge up your USBs as well, so your phones, your portable char other portable chargers. So it's really, really good. It's really, really useful. What I was also trying to say was this laptop's also meant for gaming as well. So if I don't have enough footage, and let's say for some reason I'm traveling a lot more, um, I'm still going to be able to play and record as usual wherever I go because it's it's a bit of a beast. Um, so for that reason, I bought additional uh, USB power ports to support additional USBs, mice, microphone, etc, etc. This is another portable charger for my phone. I just thought I'd chuck this in here because I've literally been using it every day for Pokemon. So that's really, really good. Now the bag. This I wanted to get a bag that wasn't like too too big but it still had enough room to fit everything in it had enough room to it had like compartments in for different cables for cameras and some room for clothes so this literally is so good it's not that big it's a perfect size for 15 inch laptops to just slide in the back here which is padded uh, there is a I have got a sleeve that I, I can put it in it just fits with both because it's slightly smaller than other 15 inches um, then it's got loads of cool stuff, compartments and whatnot, and it's just, it's really, really good. I usually just keep everything in there so I know where everything is. Now onto the camera stuff, I will show you this camera using a different camera in just a minute. However, just a few things I'd like to mention. So, a lifesaver recently has been, has been having two batteries. So, currently one of them is in this camera right now, and this is, this is the other one. So, I always have two, um, so I have two charged, so if one dies, I can just put the other one in. This is a car charger for this, which will charge up um, a battery in the car if I'm on the go or if I'm traveling. And this, which you'll probably think like, what, what the fuck is this? But you'll see this in just a minute. I'll explain it right now. Actually, I'm going to switch cameras. Okay, so now my other camera. Excuse the slightly uh, drop in quality. However, I wanted to show you the current camera that I use, which is the Canon G7X. As you can see right there. And what these things are, these are windscreen protector things. So. You put two on over both the left and right microphone, and if, if you're out in Brighton or whatever, it's it's so good. Literally, you just you hardly notice the wind at all. And the reason why I love this camera is because it flips like that, so you can see yourself uh, when you vlog if you really want to, or you can see yourself when you're when you're setting up a video. So you'd have to go back and forward trying to get like the perfect shot or angle. You can just sort of fix it there. And that is that is all of that stuff. I also now have a Dropbox as well that I can just chuck files into either from here or from the studio PC. So, you know, if it's a music file or anything like that, it's really cool. I can just have this like internet access of cool stuff. And again, the headphones that I use with all of my travel are the Bose QC25s. Very, very good headphones. And that is pretty much everything. So hopefully you have enjoyed all of this. And if you're looking to get better stuff or you're looking to get your first stuff, it's nice to be able to help people sort of, um, or recommend equipment for people to buy. I remember when I was starting out on YouTube, I, I watched countless hours of people set up videos of reviews of different stuff. And honestly, everything that I've got, I can 300% recommend. It works so, so good for me. So hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. I shall see you all in the next video. Subscribe if you're new. Goodbye and roll the outro.